Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach or Zach with BuildBox. In this video, I'm going to show you a few quick things that are going to help you with game development, and they're going to be quick and easy. First on the list is I'm going to show you how to create your own score label, and I'm going to show you how to take the current score, the total score, and your best score, and display them on a UI. So right here, I've got a phases remix that I created, and this is a BB doc that I've shared with you in the past. And what I've got here is a score label in the upper left-hand corner that is my current score. So if I get this little coin, you're gonna see my score up, go up by one, and if I get these two other coins, you're gonna see it go to three. So let me quickly just go ahead and show you how to add a current score label. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview real fast. I'm gonna go over here to my game mind map here, and this is where it starts you off, and I'm gonna to go to my 3D World UI. Over here in the upper left hand corner, this is where I have my current score label. You can get your label over here by going to the labels menu and grabbing a font that you've got and you can drop it in here for your score label. So let's go ahead and let's take another label, let's drop it off here and pull it out and then we can see here that we have different properties for this label. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of these properties. First, you can just have this label just be certain text that you want. If you wanted to say a certain thing, then you can go ahead and write that in the text box right here. And then it will display that text on your UI. If you want to do a score label though, you change the action type to score, and then you can change some of the other settings to make sure that it shows your current score. So I'm going to change it to current world. I'm gonna change the score type to points, or I'm going to keep it at points. And then I'm going to change the amount to current. Okay, and I'm gonna put this right up here, right next to this other one so that you're going to see two current score labels now set up. I'm gonna keep the alignment here at center. We'll, I'm gonna stick with the phases two font that I made. It's a black font. It's pretty much the default font, but black. And I'm gonna click stick to edge. And what this does is it registers the edge of the phone and it's going to move it a certain distance away from the edge as opposed to measuring it from the center. So let's go ahead and let's play it real fast. And you can see this other number here, just poking out here, and this is going to be a current score label as well. So they are both going to change to one there, and now you have another current score label. So I'm gonna exit out of the preview real fast. I'm going to get rid of this second score label. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to the game over UI instead. And I'm gonna create another score label that has the best amount and the total amount. So the best amount that I've ever gotten on this game I think is 27 coins. So let's go ahead and see if that shows up. So I'm going to take this default font, I'm gonna center it right about here. Let's change the action type to score, change the world to current world. We'll do, keep it at points, we'll change the amount to best and that will, hopefully it'll display 27 or around there and let's change the alignment to center and i'm going to click stick to edge so once i get defeated by an enemy then that score should show up so this is my best score and if i wanted to go ahead and write the word best next to it super easy i'll just drag in another label i'll leave it though as a user text and i'll just put in best and there we go. All right, so I'll press play. I'll let my character get defeated again. And then you're gonna see the word best, okay? And so that's another way to write out words really easily. You can also bring in images and use those as well. So I'm gonna exit out of this preview and now let's go ahead and change it to total. Now I've been playing this game for a while so I'm guessing that the total is going to be really high. So I changed the label here to total so that it says total and then I'm going to change the amount to total. So that setting is already in there for you. So let's go ahead and press play and I'm gonna be defeated by the character and it should be a really high total. Okay, 911. Um, that's probably not a good sign, but uh, it, it, is, it is working. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. So that's how you can create a total score label, a best score label, or a current score label really easily with BuildBox. So let's go ahead and jump into the next thing. 
All right, so number two on the list is creating your own font. A few of you have been asking about this and creating fonts in Buildbox is really easy. You just go over here to the font builder button. It's got a capital letter A and a lowercase a and you just click on that and this will take you into the font editor. And then what you can do is you just go up here to the left hand corner and you click this little add button and then you've got a new font. And you can go ahead and name it. We'll just call it new font. And then you go ahead and you choose whichever font that you want, uh, whichever style you like. You change some of the settings on what the font is gonna look like over here on the right. And then you go ahead and you can exit out of the font builder. And then later, when you're selecting which type of font that you want for a particular label, you can go ahead and select your new font. So when you add fonts in the font builder, it's going to add fonts to this font list over here when you're working with labels. All right, awesome. So the third thing on the list is creating a simple UI animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the example that we're already using. I'm gonna take a look at the preview right now and I want you to notice something. Once my character is defeated, I want you to look and see how the label just pops up out of nowhere, okay? There's no opacity transition. So when it says the total score, it's just going to kind of flash all at once. So character's gonna die and then it's gonna flash. Here it is, and then boom. You can see that the white screen and the play button, that comes in nice and gradually, and there's a kind of an animation there, but the total score, that just comes abruptly. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend this in real nicely with the UI animation. So let's exit out of our preview real fast. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the event open. All right, there's three different event types for animations. There's the opening of the UI, and you'll play these animations at the start of the UI as the UI is opening up. We'll have idle animations. There's an idle event, and this is the animations that are playing and, or possibly looping. You can also turn on these animations and make them loop. So you'll have animations that'll just keep going as the UI is just sitting there still without the user doing anything, that's what's gonna happen. And then once the user exits this UI and the build box knows that there is a UI transitioning happening and it's going to leave this UI, then you can have the event close animations that happen at the very end as it's exiting the UI. And there's times where using different animations at these different events are useful. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to use the open event and we're going to select our two phases fonts here, our total score, and we're gonna do a little animation. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hit this record button down here at the bottom left. Okay, and you can see now we have this orange outline or kind of a yellowish orange outline that shows you you're in record mode now. So everything you do, every little movement is going to be recorded. So you gotta be careful, all right? And then we're gonna keep the 20 frames and what we'll do is we know that at the 20th frame, we want it to be visible. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure at the 20th frame, we've got this little marker set here. At the 20th frame, we're going to select our opacity and we're gonna hit enter. And what that does is it creates this little green marker. And so now there is an animation marker here. So it knows at this 20th frame, it needs to have an opacity of one. And then what you can do is you can go back here to the beginning of the open event, in the beginning of the animation, and we can change the opacity to zero and hit enter. And so now it's going to start off as invisible and see through and then along with everything else, it's going to gradually become visible. And it's it's a really nice effect. I really think that this is useful for a lot of UI transitions. Now, if you wanna get into the nitty gritty of this animation, you wanna hit this little arrow over here in the bottom right hand corner. And what this is, is this is sort of like the animation editor. You can change like the ease in and out animation flow of this. So if you feel like this needs to happen a little bit, a little bit differently, you can move these markers up or down or around and kind of make the animations more intense. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control Z there and leave it back the way it was. But 
I definitely recommend messing around with these, especially when you're doing scale animations and things like that. You may want it to, like let's say you're doing a scale animation, you may want it to grow really fast and then very, very gradually become smaller and then grow really fast and then gradually become smaller. And so you might want to change the slope of this animation and it totally creates another effect. So let's go ahead and let's play our game and let's watch it ease in and out right now. So we should see the total amount come nice and in gradually and that's, that's much, much better. All right, boxers, that's it for this video. I hope you thought it was useful. Keep an eye out for more videos coming later this week. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff. And as always, keep on boxing.